Okay, so tonight the team is, we're headed up towards um, Barry, and we're gonna investigate a 100-year-old rectory that was referred to us from uh, another customer we were to take care of. Um, it seems that they have the typical stuff happening there, bangs in the walls and scratched on the floor and that sort of thing, uh, which I think we may be able to dispel with a little bit of debunking, which we're gonna pay some major attention to tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, they have a uh, sound of violent furniture movement in the upper floors, and it seems that two people one night experienced the same uh, sleep paralysis issue. Um, I don't, I don't know about that. So we're going to have to uh, see if we can duplicate that situation. Maybe I don't know. Uh, we have eight video cameras at our disposal tonight, so we should be able to catch some of this furniture movement, hopefully. Um, and we have a small complement of crew which should be able to move rather fast. We don't need to direct so many people. Um, nice, easy drive, good weather, 100-year-old home. It's a good mixture for a nice evening. Hi, this is Dan. Dan, he's my Hi. tech manager. Hi. That's Tanisha, she's my daughter. Hi. Hi. This is Andy, he's our camera Hi. and our, Hi. one of our lead investigators and researchers. He's actually doing some media work here. How are you, Hi. sir? Good. Yeah. Yourself? Yeah. Dave? Nice to meet you. A lot of the times when you're getting, the, if you're getting any um, sensations, if you have uh, standard, like some kind of wires on the server cable and it's not insulated properly or if it's not grounded properly, you'll get a field of electromagnetic frequency that'll sometimes kind of jar you. It'll mess with the synapses in your brain. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll sometimes, in some extreme cases, you'll actually hallucinate because your brain is kind of reworked, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we find that when some people say that they hallucinate or they get a creepy sensation in the basement or whatever, it's often, mm -hmm. say, an unsecured ballast in their fluorescent. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just creating a magnetic resonance in your head. I don't have my Timmy's cup. particular fluorescence lights so uh, if I'm coming underneath here uh, it doesn't go high here once you start getting around head level it starts going up uh, this one here reads about a 16 <coughs> power box and they're about three this one over here jumps up uh, this is heading like a 40 on the EMF level so I kind of figured that the uh, ballast may be going. Um, even as I stand underneath it, you know, if I go up towards head level, it goes up to like a two. Is there anybody with us in this home? Well, respect to 1.6. Okay. 1.3. Still down to four now, right? Okay, we'll put it back over here for a second, see if it was the TV. Yeah. No. Okay, so we've had a spike here, 1.6. Is there anybody here with us in this room that might be wanting to talk to us and speak to our machine? Are you a former member of the clergy, a minister for St. Paul's that lived here? One point 
1.4. Okay. So is it staying stable or is it, is it staying at 1.4? It was. Can you please, if you're with us in this room, can you please make our detector go up again? We're asking if there's anybody with this family, with the Smith family, that used to live in this home. For St. Paul's, if you could please talk to us. Sandy, anything with you? Um, my chest hurts a little. See, that's where the sensation I got, you know, I'm hoping. Let's get this on record. But I feel the 70s. Oh, very lightheaded, but I'm feeling a Charles. And I see white hair like, uh, white hair like you had on Kent, you know, 60, 70, maybe 80. I don't want to say that old. But your uh, upper respiratory or heart, it's here. Well, 1976. Last name like a Maitland. It's not a Mick or a Mac, it's a... Not. Have I got this right? Is your name Charles? Will you speak to my machine please, Charles? We're just here trying to learn. Trying to know why you're here. I'm extremely... Excited.